anniversary uh, for Urban Death. It's um, 17 years. Uh, like 17 years and 30th anniversary is at Zombie Joe's Underground Theater Group. 30 years went by in a flash, went by super quick, to, to, to be honest. And, you know, it just seems like yesterday when we started. And we've been together doing Urban Death for a long time, and it really feels like just honestly like yesterday, you know? You know, I kind of always, um, I was inspired in college. I'd been part of other theater groups, and I was inspired in college to to start something avant-garde and a little bit different, like from studying with like the Russian masters, like how I, you know, how we felt about the theater at the time and do something original and exciting. And it kind of all started from there and feeling like a close, strong connection to the theater and and what the possibilities were, you know? In 2005, he, the zombie came to me, it's like, hey, we should create a horror show. And uh, I was like, okay. and. Um, one of the things that, about this theater that's so unique is that the blackouts are totally pitch dark, which you don't really see anywhere. And so the show just kind of came about as that. It's like, oh, you can turn the lights on and people have no idea what they're going to see when the lights come on because it's so dark when, it's, when the lights are off. So it's, that's just kind of where it came from. And <laughs> it's, it's kind of, it's, well, it's funny because we, we, it gets more and more kind of extreme and adult and all that, but then we're also now we're doing the family friendly. So it's kind of, it's kind of taken a, a fork in the road a little bit, but... Uh... Yeah, originally, I don't think it was as graphic as it is now, the earliest. Um, but um, I think we're always like looking for things that make us you know, feel good and laugh, and, and even like, like our fears and our own phobias, to, like, put, to be able to put them out on stage and express them in this like, weird world that we're in. So, Maybe as the world's evolved a little bit, our, our form of entertainment has, has evolved with it. And the music has too. Like, we now have multiple composers for Urban Death, um, and uh, the soundtracks are a whole um, thing in itself, a whole canon in itself of, of music and stuff. So, it really is like a little, like a little mini world for us that we get to be together and create together, and uh, you know we put our, you know, everything into it, you know, and everything we've got. We really hope that people enjoy what we do for our our family of performers. That everyone's all we, all we ask our people to be courageous and fearless and try new things and stuff. And so that's something that's part of the spirit of what we do, you know. Yeah, we have a really good crew this year that mm -hmm. they're they're enthusiastic and excited and, and it's 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 been fun. It's everybody everyone who's here seems to really want to be here. The technical aspect which Jan is like a you know the genius and urban death of that stuff, you know, too like also Alex Shedder has been with us for a few years now. He it's also runs tech. It's gotten a little technically uh, a little more specific. Um, a little savvier maybe. It's always that feeling of trying to do better and trying to do new stuff for the supporters that come to see the show and also keeping in mind like the classic stuff that we're known for for the new the new people that come out. The best part is you know I get to work with like a genius here you know. And I'm just working on a, um, a, a horror immersive horror show for the Vegas market like to do in Vegas. Next Halloween that's that the plan is to be in Vegas. We're gonna doing that, putting that up. I think she's taking, she, her, you know, she's taking this big shot at it and stuff. So it's very exciting for Jana <laughs> and um, and we just hope people have a good time and have like like that was different and you know or and they'll come back. Maybe they'll come back. You know, so um, yeah.